Okay, so why do some D block element complexes have a color? Let's have a look. So that's copper, and here's the electronic configuration for copper. The, it should be lowercase SPD, but I can't do that with this program. And Dr. Atkinson, well, he's up there, and he's pointing at two electrons. So let's remove those two electrons and make a copper ion. That one, up it goes. Oh, dear. I think I filled it with xenon instead of helium. And that electron there. Great. Now, I've taken off two electrons, and I've made copper 2+. plus. Now, notice that one of the 3D orbitals is partially filled. It has one electron in a box, and that's what's going to give it a color when it combines with ligands to form a complex. So there's the copper 2 plus electronic configuration. Now, if I was to take that copper 2 plus and put it within ligands, okay, here's four chloride ligands. Each of them have a lone pair of electrons capable of forming a dative covalent bond with a central transition metal ion or atom. So once I put that in there, I'm going to have copper with four chlorides and overall the charge is going to be two minus. All right, so I formed a complex. This complex is actually yellow, so let's see why it has a color. This lone pair, that one, that one, and that one allow the d orbital to be split. Now how it splits you don't need to know unless you're doing modern organic chemistry option. But it actually splits between a three and a two. And let me pop those electrons back where they should be. Okay, so I've split the d orbital. And now what happens is electron movement between those split d orbitals is responsible for the color. You need to know no more than that. You don't actually need to know that the electron jump could be that one, or indeed could be uh, this one here. You just need to know that electron movement between the split d orbitals is the cause of the color. And what splits the d orbitals is having the ligands there. All righty. Let's jump down. Uh, Dr. Atkinson, let me give him a balloon so he can be happier. Now his electrons are gone. Oh dear. Eek. Oh, that's not as bad as it could have been, I suppose. Okay, so here's the complex again. Central transition metal ion with four ligands around it. So it's going to be tetrahedral. And here's a little representation. Uh, I've used sticks of dynamite to represent the dative covalent bonds. Oh, hold on. That's not 109 half degrees. That's 109 degrees. I'm going to go in and fix that. Just let me move this a little bit.